Hey guys and welcome to my new video tutorial. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create uh, your own uh, YouTube uh, channel layout. So I don't know if you saw the bulletin but I created my new uh, channel layout. Before that I didn't even have one. But so I decided to create one and uh, I'm going sh to show you how I did it but of course there will be a, a download link in the description that will link you to the download of the uh, template I made this is how the template looks uh, yeah this is the template and you can download it for free of course and use it on your channel but if you want to add this uh, honeycomb texture or this uh, carbon fiber texture you will have to wat uh, watch my videos that will be linked in the descriptions description uh, showing you how to create those and basically you can do that so what this channel contains is the background which here is a simple gradient the main box which is the black one and white boxes which contain all the information and yeah so how I did this is let me just turn off the visibility of these and show you how I did it I took screenshots of my channel and then paste it into Photoshop. Now how I did that is by using this button on your keyboard print screen, print screen button which is located uh, next to the print button which is uh, F12 right next to it and yes yeah, so let's get back to the channel take the first screenshot go to uh, Photoshop file new ok control V and now I have two screens so it shows the other screen as well and uh, we can just crop that out and immediately we, get, can, we can get rid of this uh, status bar and the scroller so this is what we get now we can uh, get back to our channel scroll down a bit just about where the subscribers are take a new picture back to Photoshop control V to paste it scroll in a little more take a screenshot control V to paste now we're gonna enlarge our document by going to image canvas size uh, clicking the upper arrow uh, and setting the height to about 2000 and color we'll just use white click OK and should expand it and now we can get rid of our background and now what we're gonna wanna do is invert our layers which means uh, the layer 1 is the first layer layer 2 is the second and layer 3 is the third now we're gonna position them according to their and we will also need to get rid of these status bars since we don't need them okay and we also need to get rid of this browser menu and we're going to do it by, uh, by using the rectangular marquee tool 
uh, shortcut key is M and we're just going to simply delete you don't need to be perfect because uh, the screenshots overlap and oops so yeah now again position them so this is how I took the measurements for the channel then use the crop tool again Uh, so now basically this is it now uh, create a new layer immediately grab on your rounded rectangle tool and simply make a rounded rectangle control T to make it more perfect and now uh, click Control J to duplicate the layer change the color to black so we can see it and Control T to enter the free transform tool and shrink it a bit so the white is just like a border so yeah now uh, add a uh, drop shadow to uh, the border, the white border. Uh, distance is zero, then tweak the size to your liking and put the opacity to 100%. Now you may not see the difference, but you will see when we put on the background, which will be which we're going to do right now simply I'll use a gradient like I did in the template drag from the bottom to uh, the top and this is what we get now we're going to create uh, these boxes with inner shadows we're going to do that by clicking these eyes to make all the layers disappear and click these to g get our channel back we're gonna zoom in a bit and grab a rounded rectangle tool and just basically uh, go around your info just like this and also you can use your ruler to set out guides to help you align your boxes you can uh, make the ruler appear by clicking control R on just or just simply going to this button view extras show ruler and we're, let me just set some few guides and this is what we'll need basically and then create new layers and make these boxes and now what I did to this one uh, the main box which contains your videos I uh, got rid of the rounded edges uh, on the upper part and I'm just going to show you how I did that so basically just create a normal rounded rectangle and then uh, right click on it in the layers and click rasterize layer 
then check off the visibility and then put a guide just over your video not right on it but make a bit space and then click the visibility again and then grab our re rectangular marquee tool and get rid of the unneeded area now we can get rid of our guides and those are our boxes now we can get rid of our screenshots and yeah now let me add ju uh, just add some inner shadows to the to our boxes tick the inner shadow on one of your boxes set the opacity to 100% distance to 0 and you can tweak your uh, the size to your liking click ok when, once that's done you will right click on that same layer and just click copy layer style and then paste it to all the other boxes so that will give us this um, inner shadow and now you can uh, tweak it more if you want like for example this part where it snaps to the border we don't want that you can put your logo in here and uh, also you can tweak the border the this white border that I made you can make a gradient overlay which I did actually in the uh, on my channel and what I did is this make it look like it's metal or something oh so this is basically th uh, the uh, template you will be getting and you can all, all, all you can also put in the text I use Mirade Pro for it and what you're gonna want to do is click ALT 0 1 6 9 in your uh, key not key number pad to create uh, the copyright symbol then type in the year 2010 zero zero poison angel zero zero dot space all rights reserved dot then position it center it you can shrink it if you want and this is the basic template you will be getting now uh, you can watch the videos as I said in the description to see uh, how to add a carbon fiber pattern or the uh, honeycomb texture so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope your channel layout comes, coo uh, comes out cool and I hope this was helpful until next time oh, oh yeah don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe of course.